Now, if you don't know the difference between a credit card union or a bank, you might be losing out on thousands of dollars a year, or you might be paying hundreds of dollars a year on fees that you don't really need to pay at all. Now, if you want to find out exactly what a credit card union is, how it works, and how it compares to a bank, then I recommend you watch this video till the end. Because I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube, but they don't really tell you any details of how the business actually works and what the main differences are or what they're not. That's why by the end of this video, I'm going to make sure you guys know at least three things. The difference between a credit card union and a bank how they both make money and which one is better for you and better suited for your situation because every single person out there is different. For example, my needs today as a 22 year old are not going to be the same needs I'm going to have when I'm 35, 55, or even 65. That's why I want to make sure I break down all the details when it comes to a credit union and a bank and which one actually benefits you more. Now guys, if you don't know me, my name is Tony Bryce. I'm an accountant and I've been practicing personal finance for the past four years. And per request, I started seeing a lot of comments in the comments down below about what credit unions are, how they work, what I think about them. And quite frankly, I started seeing a lot of comments of people actually bragging, saying like, oh my gosh, I have a credit union. I don't have to worry about fees. I have a credit union. I have to do this. And I wanted to do more research and actually find out exactly what the difference is and what makes a credit union so much better, or if it's just fake, if it's a scam, and a bank is actually better. So I had to make this video and actually break down everything. Now guys, I do post videos every single day, so make sure you guys subscribe. And when you do click subscribe, make sure you click that notification button so when I do post a video on finance, how to make money, how to better yourself, everything they don't teach you in school, so you actually get notified and it tells you like, hey, Tommy just uploaded a video. This is how you can actually make more money over your lifetime. This is how you can actually invest. Like whatever it is that's gonna benefit you, I'm gonna be posting it on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and click on notifications on. And let me know down in the comments down below if you have a bank or a credit unit and why. And then at the end of the video, I want you guys to reply to that same comment that you made before and say like, well, you know, after this video, I actually learned this and I might wanna get a bank rather than a credit unit that I have. And me personally, guys, I still have my bank and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why at the end of the video because you might say, well, if you know, if Tommy has a bank, then that must be the better choice. But in reality, it might not be. And trust me, it might not be. So make sure you stick around to the end. Now, let's get right into it. We all know how banks work. They make money, they wanna make more money, then they wanna double that money. And I personally don't really care about that, quite frankly, guys, because I know how business works. I know they need to make money to actually make a profit, make investors happy. And honestly, I'm fine with that as long as they take care of the customers. But in this case, they might not be doing that. And you might be thinking, Tommy, what do you mean by this, that they don't benefit the customer anymore? Well, here's the thing. In a bank, you're the product. In a credit union, you're the owner. And it might sound confusing, but let me explain. You see, a credit union is actually a nonprofit organization that doesn't really profit from charging you a lot of money. And here's why, because they only charge you a flat fee from those fees you actually pay to actually maintain the business, pay employees, and cover everything else. But the difference between a credit union and a bank in this case is that a bank is a <laughs> that a bank is a for-profit business. It means that you know a bank wants to make more money and you're the product, so they're constantly selling you things to kind of expand their capital and make more and more profit. But for a credit union, it is more different because their main perspective isn't making money, but what they actually want to do is make sure they're taking care of you. But before you go on and say like, well, Tommy, it sounds very obvious. Credit unions are great. Banks are bad. I want you guys to actually stick around because that's not really everything to it. But I do want to make sure you guys understand one thing. For example, whenever you're depositing money into a credit union, they use that money to lend it out to loans and people that are actually part of the entire company. But when you do that with a bank, and at the end of the year, for example, right, if the credit union made a big, big profit after they paid everyone, right, that money that they actually have in there, well, what they do is they use that money, distribute it around, so you can actually, you know, improve savings accounts, improve the rates, and actually lower the loan rates. But what a bank does is like, oh my gosh, we made more money. Well, let's see what we can cut here and there so we can make more and more money. That's all they really care about, making more money while our credit union cares about, well, if we made more money, how can we save the customer more money and actually make the customer more money? That's the main difference when it comes to both of these businesses. But what I don't want is for you guys to actually fall into this loop of saying like, oh my gosh, you know, they care about the customer. They care about, you know, donating money. They're all about the customer, They're all about this. Banks are greedy, banks are bad. I don't want you guys to fall into that loop because that's all marketing. What I really care about is rates, customer service, and if there's actually benefiting you at any point. Because guys, we all know about companies that talk about, oh my gosh, social awareness this, and I won't mention any names, but Aspiration Bank, I said I wanted to mention any names, but here I am mentioning the name. Aspirational Bank does kind of like the same thing. You know, they promise all these things. They say like, oh my gosh, you know, we're gonna donate money, we're gonna do this. But when you call in and you actually check the customer service, it's not the best customer service that 
it's, it's not great at all. It's, it's, it's not great at all, okay? I just want to clarify that. So I don't care about what they say they're going to do or what they're doing with the money. I do care it's about the rates and how it benefits us, the customers, and if it actually makes sense for us because that's the only thing that's actually very important to us. Oh, and by the way, guys, I have heard about people that tell me, well, Tommy, the reason I like a bank is because, you know, my money is FDIC insured, so I'm always protected. And I'm here to tell you guys that that's not a valid reason because if you have your money in a credit union, it is also insured by the government. So there's no really no big difference when it comes to safety. They're both insured. So if you have up to $250,000, you're like 100% secure. And if you have more than that, I recommend you open up, you know, different bank accounts. So that way you spread it around and then that way you're fully secured. So let's talk about the main differences to the businesses, okay? And here's the main deal. I noticed something that I've never noticed before and it's transparency. When it comes to transparency, guys, and what I mean by this is that, you know, when a company is transparent, when they tell you the truth, they're quite frankly honest and everything like turns out great because they're honest. I never noticed this, but when I go to a credit union website, it's completely different than when I go to the bank. When I go to the bank and they're telling me all this stuff, you know, I'm pretending like I understand what they're saying and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they give me this contract with 80,000 words. And I'm like, yeah, all right. Okay. I get that. I understand that. But I can't even understand the first page. And that's quite frankly, what goes on with a lot of people. But in my case, guys, I kind of do know the lingo. I know the terms. I know how to actually project myself around the entire contract. But in a lot of situations, people don't really know a big contract. They don't actually know how to explain it. They don't actually know what's actually written inside of it. And here's the deal. When you go to a credit union website, it's completely different. It's very simple. It's very laid out differently. And the main reason is because you're not the product. You're the owner. And guys, whenever you're in a credit union, they care about making sure that you're okay, that you're making money, that you're contributing money so you can actually keep benefiting other customers and actually keep going up and up and up. But with a bank, it's like, all right, how can we extract the most money out of Tommy? How can we extract the most money out of Lily, Billy, whoever it is, like all of our customers, credit cards, loans, like whatever it is, let's see a way that we can actually extract money from them with fees or whatever it is. That way we make more money. That way we make investors happy. Credit unions are different in that way. And honestly, guys, the more research I did on banks and credit unions, the more I realized that they're kind of both the same. And you might be saying, Tommy, what are you talking about? You just told me like transparency is so great here. You know, they don't keep the money. They actually improve the rates and all this stuff. Yes, 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 yes. But here's the deal. I think people are looking at the wrong thing and I'm going to tell you guys why later in the video, but mainly it's kind of like the same thing. People are just talking about rates, customer service, and if it actually makes sense for the customer. So when you think about a credit union, you might say like, oh my gosh, you know, they offer better rates on savings accounts. They offer better rates with this. They have no fees here. But when I think about a bank and you see the research, they have a lot more resources. Thus, they can offer a lot more things and bonuses to actually make money from you. But if you know what you're doing, you actually make money from them. For example, they might give you credit card bonuses. They might give you a lot of rewards and credit cards and the credit cards that I did see with like big credit unions like they're not really that great they offer like 1% cash back and it's, it's just it's just not that good but I guess for the customer service and everything else that you do get with it it might be worth it for a lot of people but that's why I said I want to make sure I break down everything because everyone is different and in my case I care more about rewards and actually getting money for what I'm doing than I do care about like a savings accounts actually being higher or stuff like that because there's a lot of alternatives to these products and here's the thing guys, the more research I did, the more I found out that there's only actually three arguments that it comes down to when you compare a bank and a credit union. And that's basically rates, customer service, and convenience. And quite honestly, guys, it's almost the same. It's not like, oh my gosh, like this one's here and this one's here. It's kind of like this one's here and this one's here, but sometimes this one's here and sometimes this one's here. It's kind of like, it's always competing. And it's always basically like the same thing. So this is what I mean, right? When it comes to rates, loans, mortgages, credit cards, like whatever you want, savings accounts, like they keep competing and competing. Right now, banks are trash when it comes to like, you know, like savings accounts, but they have really good mortgage rates. And when it comes to a credit union, they have like really high savings accounts, but then their mortgage rates might not be as low as what it is for a real bank because a real bank has a lot of resources. Same for credit cards. Credit cards on the bank side, they're smashing it. They're doing a great job. But on the credit union side, they're not that great. When it comes to customer service, customer service on the credit union side is much, much better and here's why because ethically they don't really care about getting money from you or actually selling your product they don't benefit from it all they really benefit from is making sure that you're okay you're happy and you have this community service with this entire thing because every single person that's in a credit union they're together and they're all owners in a way but in a bank side when you call customer service they're always trying to make sure that they can actually get money from you or they can evade some type of fee by the way guys i never really had a bad experience with my bank and i bank with chase i'm just unhappy that chase doesn't have a lot of the features that i want from like these online banks but in reality, I never had a bad experience. They do a great job on customer service, but I do know this. 
if you're not qualified and you don't really know what you're talking about, they will take advantage of you sometimes because I catch some lingo every now and then when I call in and I'm like, hey, that's actually not true. This is how it works. But here's the deal. Banks are always going to try to sell you something because they make money like that. Credit unions only really care about you. So it's all about customer service and that's great. And when it comes to convenience, I keep hearing this one argument. Oh no, I can't have a credit union because they don't have a lot of branches. You know, I, all I care about is getting my branches right down the block. I get that. I get that. I get that. But here's the main deal. We have online banking and believe it or not, credit unions have a lot of technology behind them. And quite frankly, guys, I never seen this before, but I visited a credit union website today and they even had an entire like side with an app to actually help your kids get a handle on their financial future, which is insane. I never heard about that ever. And when it comes to the bank side, they have a lot of technology also. So it's not about, oh my gosh, you know, if I have this one, then I can't like take out money. I can't deposit money. Like I searched up my zip code and they have literally like over 90,000 ATMs that I can access to whenever I want to. And a lot of these credit unions, they have partnerships with each other. So you can go to like visit the other one and the other one and the other one. You can deposit your money, talk to them and they're all friendly. So that's great. Same thing with banks. Banks have a lot of partnerships. You can deposit money. They usually have a lot of branches. So that's good also. But when you think about it, guys, it all comes down to one thing and it's all about what you want and what you can actually qualify for and what's best for you. But before I continue guys and actually break it down a little bit more further, I actually wanna make sure you guys are understanding what I'm saying. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys understand what a credit union is now compared to a bank and which one you actually think is better now that you have the information. I'll wait three seconds. One, two, can't believe me guys. I'm not gonna wait three seconds, it's too long, so let's continue the video right now. So what are my final thoughts? What do I think about the credit unions and the banks? And here's the thing guys, I think that we're looking at the wrong thing. Every single person that's commenting below and telling me, Tommy, what do you think about credit unions? What do you think about banks? What do you think about this? I only really care about one thing that a lot of people are not really talking about, and that's online banking. If you don't know guys, online banking, here's a bank, here's a credit union. Here's an online bank. It's right in the middle. Why? Because they're taking everything that's good from a bank and everything that's good from a credit union and they're putting it together. And right now, guys, we only have checking accounts, savings accounts, investment accounts. That's great. And some of them even have loans. But as they keep growing and keep going, they're going to get better. Here's why, right? For example, if I have a bank, I might not have the best rates when it comes to savings accounts compared to like a credit union. But if I have an online bank, I have competitive savings accounts rates. On top of that, if I have a credit union account, then I might not have all the ATMs and all the branches that you know a bank has. But if I have an online bank, I have access to all the ATMs in the world for free. And that's SoFi, by the way. I love SoFi. They have a very good system in place. But one thing I do want to mention, guys, is that you know the online banks right now. They don't have mortgages. They don't have all these other products like credit cards and stuff like that. But oh, by the way, guys, before I forget, right? Credit cards on either side, like I said before, remember when I said that, you know, the credit cards here, they have a lot of bonuses and a lot of rewards. That's great. But on the other side with credit unions, the rates, the APR you actually pay on those credit cards are very, very low. I saw rates between eight to 13%. Credit cards between 15 to 30%. It's a lot more different, but it's because again, they're all about business making more money while the credit union is about like, hey, we'll lend you the money, just borrow it at a low rate, and that's about it. We're not gonna try to scam you. But here's my prediction, guys. I actually believe that in the future, maybe like a decade from now, because these things do take time, and you can quote me on this, like take this video, save it, download it, whatever you want to do, like comment down below and say like, all right, here's today's date, here's a sentence, here's what he said, and here's what happened next year or like in the next decade or whatever. I believe that next decade or so, online banks are gonna be like the new banks. And I believe that, you know, either the big banks are gonna buy out the online banks or they're gonna become their own conglomerates. Why? Here's the deal. Online banks, one, they have no fees. They're very transparent. They have very competitive rates. And as soon as they start getting into the loan business and the credit card business, because that's where the money is actually at, they're gonna explode even further. And more people and more people, millennials especially, they're gonna start registering and registering and registering because millennials specifically, well, all people, like honest people that are not trying to take advantage of them. And in reality, online banks right now are like dominating the game at this point when it comes to like online banking. So at this point, you're probably wondering, all right, Tommy, so it sounds like you like online banks, but you also like banks and you also like credit unions. So are you gonna sign up for a credit union or are you gonna sign up for a bank or are you gonna stick with the online bank, whatever you do have, right? Here's the deal, I have a bank, I bank with Chase and I'm thinking about getting an online bank, which is SoFi, but at this point, I don't really save a lot of my money because I'm constantly investing, investing, investing my money because I like getting constant returns on my money. But 
here's the deal. Even if I wanted to get a credit union, I can't get a credit union because I don't qualify for it. And here's why, right? And I save this till the end to make sure that you guys get this information. The thing is this, to actually get a credit union is actually very exclusive in the way that not every single person can actually get into it. And this is not because they want to make it like that, but it's because it's policy so you can keep that nonprofit identity in place according to the government and regulations. Here's what I mean by this. There's something called field of membership. And this means that every single person that joins a credit union, they have to have some type of bond together, whether it's work, same community, a church, a chapel, a business, like whatever it is, but you need to be part of some little community so then you can actually invest. But me personally, guys, I don't have a regular job, so I can't join through my job. And one of the top credit unions out there right now is called Alliance. And I can't even join because I don't have a regular job. I can't qualify with none of my stuff because I'm an entrepreneur. And on top of that, there's another way for you to actually join. If your mom is inside of it or your dad is inside of it or whatever, they can actually get you inside of it also. But in my case, I can't join. So in your case, say for example, you have a regular job. Do you want to join a credit union or do you want to go with a bank? Here's my deal when it comes to this, right? I think that if you want to get a mortgage for a house, obviously banks right now have very hot, very competitive rates because their rates are much, much lower. But I think if you want to save money, I think you should go with a credit union. And I think if you're smart, you should go with both because I always think about both. And in this case, if you're really, really, really smart, you might want to go with all three bank, online banking, and also credit union. You have to decide exactly what you want and what's actually best for you. Guys, I know a lot of people out there that they're all about loyalty to these companies. Oh my gosh, I've been with my bank for 20 years. I don't want to let go. This is my thing. This is all what I want. And in reality, your bank has not been thinking like that of you. They haven't been paying you any money. They don't care about you. The CEO is a number. So I don't want you guys to have that same loyalty to those banks because in reality, care about this. If they're going to give you great rates, great. If a credit union is going to give you a high rate on a, on a, on a savings account and you actually qualify for it, then go out there and actually get it. By the way, guys, I saw some credit union accounts that actually gave you 5% on a savings account. I'm not kidding. I'm not lying. This is true. By the way, guys, if you want me to make a video on the top three credit union accounts out there, let me know down in the comments down below. Comment yes or comment no if you want to see that video because I saw some rates for literally 5%. I didn't believe it when I saw it either. And as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. My name is Tommy Bryson. If you like the video, make sure you like it. If you dislike the video, make sure you dislike it and let me know in the comments down below why you disliked it, why you don't like it. And if you do like it, like it. Let me know in the comments why you liked it so I can keep making more and more videos and make sure you subscribe. And when you subscribe, remember, click that notification bell. So whenever I upload a video about finance, making more money or whatever idea you gave me, you actually get notified and it actually tells you. And also guys, if you want to DM me personally or talk to me personally and actually ask me about anything you want to ask me about, just follow me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson at Instagram. That's basically it. I'll see you guys next time on the next video and peace. You've got to stop.